Hey everybody, this is Bob Dunn, video game columnist for the Berkshire Eagle, and I wanted to take a couple of minutes out and show you Gorogoa? Gorogoa? Something like that. Uh, review in progress, a 2018 puzzle game that may have uh, slipped under folks' radar. This is puzzle game based on perspective using illustrated panels, hand illustrated panels that are just really, really gorgeous. This is just an amazing game to look at. And I thought that showing off the mechanics of one of the first puzzles would better explain how this game works. Uh, no dialogue. Everything is all told through the illustrations, everything you need to know. And honestly, it does feel a little bit like trial and error when you're first checking it out, but it teaches you the that trial and error teaches you the vocabulary of the game. Uh, it, it sort of walks you through how to interact with the world, and the more you do it, uh, the more uh, it's going to make sense. So again, uh, there's a few different ways you can interact with each of the panels. You can uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, and the things that you can do will change depending on the situation. So it breaks down into this basic four panel layout and some of the panels will have these cutout sections that you can take off of the other panels. And then this will interact with other illustrations in um, a specific way that we'll check out here in a second. So as you can see, there's really not much to do here as far as zooming in or going side to side. You can drag and drop and take that off. Here's another overlay that will come into play later. Now once this is gone, you can manipulate this panel. And then this starts setting up the premise for the first puzzle. So again, it's all playing with perspective and using negative space in these different panels to move objects between one environment and the next and by doing that and playing with the with the perspective and the size of each illustration um, you accomplish the the specific tasks in each part of the puzzle so again this isn't an overlay this is all one thing uh, all one illustration rather so you can't do too much with that but you can do this and this will bring our character into this other environment and then once he's there we can then remove that and then we have these three distinct environments and these different illustrations and each of these is going to fit together in order to accomplish the goal So as you can see, zooming in on that photo gives us that apple and it seems like a similar environment. And once you zoom in on the only thing you can zoom in on, that'll line up and you can see how these two disparate images eventually merge together into one cohesive whole here. And let's move that over because again you see the environment starting to line up sort of like a jigsaw puzzle and there you go so in a very basic way that is how this game uh, works and solving these puzzles especially you know they're they're not nearly as punishing as or obtuse as something like say the witness but um you know they will uh they will frustrate you uh to a point and then once you figure out what to do next uh it's just immensely satisfying to um to solve each of these sort of like in that way that portal did every time you got through one of those rooms it was just super satisfying and where can he go so again everything is conveyed through the images so as you can see right here the next thing that we apparently need to do involves this section here 
and in the same sort of way we are able to move our character from this environment out to here we can move our character from that environment into this one and then remove that and allow them to move forward into that new image and it sort of goes on from there to go much further would really kind of be spoiling it but uh, i thought that uh a look at the base mechanics would really prove helpful for people that are interested in the game. Uh, it's available for all the consoles. Um, it's available on mobile through both Google and Apple. It's available for PC on Steam. Um, or Goa. We're going to go with that. I've decided. That's, that's the pronunciation that we're going with. So uh, uh, check out our full review. That'll be uh, online soon at BerkshireEagle.com. It'll appear in print sometime after that uh, in uh, the Sunday edition of the Berkshire Eagle in the landscape section. And thank you for checking us out.